Hey, what's up, fam? Just as I was talking about in the stream and in the spoilers, this chapter has one of the most exciting parts that we've gotten within the series in a long time. Not from the perspective of, um, you know, large open areas of the world, new crazy deep lore, anything like that. Just the fact that what we're getting is something that the fans have been arguing about since the start and probably one of the most contested debates within the fairy tale fandom, and that is looking like it might be settled within the next couple chapters. And what that happens to be would be who would win between Jalal and Laxus. So just kind of getting to the chapter, stuff that I, I, I didn't get within the uh, spoilers review because it wasn't, uh, wasn't translated to what I had. Obviously, uh, Jalal is like asking Toko why she joined up with the fairy tale. She's like talking about Natsu, but then she once she tries to tell her story about it, he, he goes into her... Her whole thing of uh, how she leads a white magic group called the uh, Liberius. So we now definitely for sure have a, you know, a new faction behind her, which is going to be kind of cool. And how white magic, even though it sounds nice, it's actually kind of like a, a very dangerous magic because it, it's like this magic of, of like voided nothingness. And he knows who she is. He knows she kind of tries to reject it. The whole time but he, he brings up how he knows that she's still power from a dragon and within the last couple months over 100 people have had their their magic and magical power stolen from them and they die of magic deficiency and the that person is related to liberius the group that she is you know that she found and leads but once we get to the meat of this whole thing, Laxus steps in and starts the confrontation between him and, and Jalal. Obviously, they, they go back and forth of Jalal's trying to like be like, do you even know who this is? And Laxus like, it doesn't matter who she was. Now she's part of the guild. She's part of our crew. And now they're going to face off. And then that further goes into the, the rest of the chapter with Kyria having Urza as a, a collared up kind of pet using her as a chair and hitting her and, and demeaning her while Natsu and Wendy are tied up and and what I assume is going to be brought to Diablos because I, I don't know where they could really go to where if once they board up somewhere like near a port all it's going to take is Natsu and Wendy to get out and then get on land and then the motion sickness is cured and Natsu can go all out we don't know the, the extent of the Dragoners, but we don't know if they are strong enough to take something like Natsu's Dragon Force. We don't know the what theirs is comparable to his and, and what exactly their extents are. Now, that is going to hopefully expand a lot of the, the Dragoners if we can see the guild. I think that'd be pretty cool and you know, the to bring the dra these Dragon Slayers and try and bring them to your guild seems like something they would do, maybe part of their plan, who knows? But right after that bit, we have Lucy, who's he took this boat from Mersovia, and I can't remember the chick's name, uh, Camille, Car I don't know. She doesn't really matter yet, if at all. And he is, he's he and she had, you know, recovering. She had given Lucy a boat. Happy and Carla went and found the Diablo's boat and ran then right after into Brandish, who shrunk Grey down and saved him. And now we're going to have brandish within the fray of things so we're gonna not only get laxus versus jalal but we're also might very potentially get to see the dragon eater guild soon of diablos as well as how they fare up against somebody like one of the members of the spriggan 12 the one obviously brandish nicknamed the country destroyer which is going to be pretty intense because we also never really got to see the full extent of brandish and I, I look forward to seeing how that kind of plays out. Because even if it's something like she can't use the, the whole hacked bit of being able to, like, enlarge their organs and, like, burst their intestines out of their stomach. Because seemingly she can't use it on people who are more powerful than her. But she can still do things like take rocks and throw them in the air and then just, like, turn them into island-sized masses. And then just let free-fall gravity kind of, you know, add all that power onto it from the... Uh, I think it's kinetic. Is it kinetic? I think it's, uh, it's other potential or kinetic energy, just like you know, falling down from the sky with that much weight. It just it. It's gonna be a, a good couple chapters. Uh, I like the the team up of 
of Brandish and Lucy. Maybe this could be where Brandish joins the guild, or maybe we can find out the state of how Alakatasia is and the Alvareth Empire and how things kind of have molded over there with the last year. So tell me in the comments what you think about this. We're getting something, some real thick stuff, but especially Jalal versus Lax is something we've been really waiting for and continuously arguing within the fan base, and we might finally get a result, which is going to be fantastic if so. Regardless of who win or loses, just to know that there is an, a definitive answer. But otherwise, yeah, uh, subscribe and like. Subscribe to the channel, I mean, and like and thumbs up the video and comment below. Maybe check out my other videos, new mostly manga and anime stuff. So subscribe if you like that kind of content. I do daily content. And if you're subscribed already, thank you very much. But otherwise, thank you very much for listening.